Greetings and welcome back to Neurosciences Connections. Uh, when I arrived, it was very clear that one uh, big problem uh, at UCSD was that we simply did not have a very well integrated, uh, outstanding brain tumor uh, program. And now that deficiency has been uh, resolved, I'm sitting here with uh, Dr. Bob Carter and Dr. Santosh Kayseri, uh, key members, principals in the new UCSD Brain Tumor Center. Uh, brain tumors are a huge problem. We can now deal with them much more effectively in San Diego than ever before. And I'd like these gentlemen to talk about uh, the center and their work within the center. And uh, Bob, please start. Uh, tell us just a little bit about your position and what you do in the center. Well, Bill, as you know, I'm uh, newly arrived as the Chief of Neurosurgery here at UCSD Medical Center and also a principal in the Brain Tumor Center with Dr. Kayseri. And one of the things that we think about the Brain Tumor Center is really from the patient's perspective. It's a devastating diagnosis to have someone tell you you have a brain tumor. And what happens right then is an immediate grasp for information. People are on the internet, they're calling, they're trying to find expert care in the area of brain tumors. And the integration and the power of the Brain Tumor Center is simply the fact that we've brought together a team. And I'll have Dr. Kayseri tell us a little bit more about the team, but a group of individuals whose work is dedicated to brain tumors. On my side, it's in the area of surgical practice, so meningiomas or skull-based tumors or primary gliomas or glioblastomas. From the benign to the malignant, we want to make sure that patients come through their surgery in a way that preserves function. Uh, really, the seat of the soul, of course, is in the brain, and we want to make sure that movement, speech, cognition are all preserved. But that's just the first step. Surgery is really only the beginning of the process for some patients who will need additional therapies. And as we gather together in our weekly brain tumor conference, our goal is to try to bring now additional expertise. And that's really where Santosh's work comes in, as he has developed programs for new clinical trials, and I'll let him tell us what some of those uh, efforts are. Yeah, Santosh, tell us about what's going on. So uh, it's a pleasure to, to be here again, Bill. Um, and uh, I think both Bob and I have come uh, from across the country mm -hmm. to help set up this brain tumor, new brain tumor program. And really our goal is to personalize treatments for our patients, whether it is uh, having the best surgery you can have and the safest surgery, to the best radiation treatments, to the best uh, chemotherapy options. Uh, there has been uh, tremendous advances in understanding the biology of not only the brain tumors that arise in the brain, but also the metastatic uh, cancers that go to the brain, breast cancer, lung cancer, melanoma. These are increasing in incidence. And I think the, the, uh, we're trying to integrate and make the care easy for the patients. As uh, uh, Bob mentioned, a brain tumor center w with integrated uh, surgeons, oncologists, uh, neurologists, um, uh, radiation oncologists and the support staff, nursing, social work, etc., will really uh, make uh, elevate the level of care for these patients in, in San Diego. And our hope is not only take the best care for these patients at the Morse Cancer Center and uh, UCSD, but to uh, also understand from these patients why they respond to certain drugs or why not, and to try to uh, correlate this with the laboratory and research the wonderful laboratory and research that goes on at UCSD. So you're integrating really across the clinical and the research domain and those are fertilizing one another and, and helping one another to build what you really would like to see is personalized care from the time they walk in the door until the time they're cured hopefully. That's right and you know I think Bill what you really describe is the fact that for in, any one patient uh, the diagnosis of a brain tumor is not typically a one-time thing. It's a journey, and it's a journey where you have caregivers that are at your side who are trying to provide care. And as Santosh mentioned, it's really important to have that whole integrated team, from the social workers to the individuals who are actually providing the care. One of the things that I think Santosh has uh, been very interested in, we've been trying to build a consortium on, is to try to understand how, in the case of malignant brain tumors, those tumors change over time in response to treatment. You know, there's been an article in the New York Times today that uh, the first sets of genomes have been sequenced for patients who have genetic disorders, and the cost of that is about $50,000. But we think that th that cost is going to go down to five to even $1,000, and we anticipate that within the next few years we will be able to have sequencing data on specific tumor genomes, 
and be able to follow that data over time as a patient receives treatment. And again, this is where Dr. Kayseri's expertise comes in. Modify the treatment according to the actual genetic signature of the brain tumor. And with, with this team at UCSD, you have access now to terrific basic biologists interested in cancer. You've got access to top-notch radiation therapists, to great neuropathologists. It, it, these, all these folks fit in your team, do they not? Absolutely. I think that's the wonderful part about uh, having an integrated brain tumor center is all the people that have anything to, to do with brain tumors will be involved in the, in the center to help us not only understand the disease, but design better drugs. I think uh, UCSD has a, uh, has a history of basic discoveries and translating those discoveries in, into patients, and, we won't, and they're done at, at throughout, the, throughout the world, but we'd like to do that right here at our Brain Tumor Center. So a first-class effort, and, and if I were a patient uh, uh, in San Diego or a referring doctor, uh, where else would I send my patient or where else would I go? I mean, this is, this is the one place in San Diego that has this level of expertise. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah, we feel that the, the integrated program will offer a new level of uh, really quaternary care for, for this area where patients and even doctors who have patients and they're unsure of what the next step might be uh, can refer those patients to the brain tumor program. And we will offer a, a consultation that's not just any one doctor, but really our whole team will be brought mm -hmm. to bear. I mean, if I were a patient, I'd want to come see you. Uh, if I were a referring physician, I'd want you to take care of my very sick patient for whom... Uh, a course of therapy might be highly individuals, might individualized, might in fact need to be highly individualized. Is that fair to say? Absolutely. You know, the NIH has spent hundreds of millions of dollars uh, sequencing uh, the glioblastoma uh, genomes, and they found uh, that every patient's tumor is different. Mm. And we already know from the information that's out there that that genetics of the tumor determine response to specific drugs but we're not incorporating that into clinical practice. And the idea of our center is really to use all this information that's already out there and, and to, uh, to genotype our patients and then select the right drugs. So the clinical trials that we're already starting to do involve exactly that. For instance, we discovered uh, several years ago a specific biomarker that predicts response to one of the kinase inhibitors called Gleevec. And now we have a clinical trial uh, where we use that biomarker and select those patients, and tr only those patients will get the drug because they're the ones that have the highest chance of responding. And what chance do they have of responding if you adjust therapy in this very so, special way? So the biomarker is only present in 10% of patients, and the previous studies didn't select the patients, so the response rate was less than 5%. Mm. But uh, from the studies that uh, we've, we've done, we expect 100% response wow. rate. So that's a For huge this subset change. of patients. Huge change in the game. And we plan to have other clinical trials for the other biomarkers that we know are important for each of the other drugs that are already out there that have been tested but have failed because uh, we, we didn't understand the importance of these biomarkers. This is pretty serious science. Sequencing somebody's genome is not trivial. You're not going to be able to do that in your, uh, at your local uh, caregiver. This is a pretty high tech, pretty university tech kind of thing. Uh, but it sounds like one's going to really have to deal with individual tumors in this very individualized way to learn how to treat them effectively. I think there's no question about it, Bill, and it's an exciting time uh, in terms of brain tumor therapy. We know that we can do better with this disease, and we feel like we're on the right path with the initiation and startup of the Brain Tumor Center here at UCSD. Proud of you guys. Very happy you're here. Very happy to be able to offer to San Diego and more generally the county and nearby counties uh, what I regard as an absolutely first-class program in caring for patients with brain tumors. Uh, thanks for being with us, and we hope to see you soon here again on Neurosciences Connections.